Okay, so we've got Instagram, we've got Twitter, we've got Facebook, we've got the ability to text. We can communicate to one another all over the world. And that's a good thing. That's a great thing, actually. And, and I appreciate that. So do you. But if we can do that so easily, why is prayer then such a strange concept to so many people? A lot of people think that prayer is something that you've got to conjure up or if something's really bad, then we're going to pray. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. Let's pray. But God didn't give us that avenue of prayer uh, to just have it in the moment of crisis. Prayer is a dialogue. It's not a monologue. God wants us to talk to him. Our conversation with God is, in fact, prayer. The Bible tells us that we should be praying without ceasing. You say, well, Jack, how do I do that? How do I pull over or how do I work when I'm supposed to get on my knees and pray? Because, my friend, listen, you don't have to get on your knees and pray. You can. And li listen, I think that's a great thing to do, but you don't have to do that. It is an attitude. It is something that is... Uh, in your mind. When the Bible says pray without ceasing, it is having the understanding that God is always listening. Jesus said when his disciples came to him and asked, Lord, teach us to pray. I love that. They saw the need to connect with God in prayer. And then Jesus, of course, turns to them and says, this is how you pray. And it is a wonderful, wonderful dialogue with God. When we pray, we're speaking to God. And because God is a person, he will speak back. And you say, well, how does he speak back? Well, first of all, he's God. He can do anything he wants. He may interrupt your thoughts. You may pray in the morning and find out that God is answering you in the afternoon. And he'll make it clear to you. Another great thing about God answering our prayers and speaking to us is by the word of God. When you read the Bible, that's God speaking to you. In fact, it's amazing. How is it that you can pray to God in the morning and then pick up the Bible and read in the afternoon or in the evening, and he answers you. How does he know? Again, he's God. In fact, Jesus said, your heavenly Father knows the things you have need of before you ask. You say, ah, there's the funny little catch. If God knows, then why should I ask? Because listen, everything that you and I do with God is based on faith. Faith is that interaction with God. Until we see him face to face, we relate to him in faith. So when we pray, talk to him, he answers back through his word, through circumstances, and we know that it's him speaking. What happens? Our faith is increased. The Bible tells us also, and boy, listen, this is needed today like never before. The scripture says in Philippians chapter 4, beginning at verse 6, that we ought to be anxious for nothing. You shouldn't worry. You say, how can I overcome worry? Because listen, he says, do not become anxious for anything at all, but by prayer and supplication, let your request be made known unto God and the God of all peace will garrison, surround your heart. When God answers you, it brings peace. When you're seeking direction, pray. You don't have to start, listen, you don't have to start Twittering your friends, Facebooking people. You don't have to, uh, you know, go to Wikipedia to find out what you should do for, with your life next. As easy as those things are, think of this. God trumps it all. It's easier to pray. Just, you need to nurture that. You know how you pick up your phone right now or you text somebody? How natural it is? That same simplicity should be happening in your prayer life. Don't make it more difficult than what God wants it to be. It just needs to be an ongoing dialogue between you and God as you live your life every day. Don't make prayer a difficult thing. Rather, make it a constant thing. And you will find God strengthening in your heart, answering your request, and leading you and guiding you in the most simplest ways. Hey, let's do it right now. It's that simple. Father, I ask you in Jesus' name that you would open up my eyes and my heart to what you want to do in my life today. God, I give you myself. I surrender to you today. Lord, lead me. And as I pray over the issues of my life, relationships, finances, vision, purpose, direction, Lord, speak to me in such a way that I know it's you answering. And Lord, give me the heart to obey your wonderful answer. Father, I thank you for your presence in my life. And Lord, may I right now nurture an attitude of prayer and may I enjoy an ongoing dialogue with you. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
Listen, it's our hope that through Jesus Christ, you will know real life. 